Not only do you need to maintain enough space to the front of your vehicle, but you also need to leave space to the sides. Although it takes a little effort, you should strive to have one car width of space to at least one side of your car at all times. When practical, it's even better to have this much space on both sides of your vehicle. That's because even though modern cars can stop quickly, there won't always be enough room to stop before hitting something ahead of you. In that case, steering into the space on either side will be more effective, as long as you've made sure to keep those side spaces open. If you're blocked by another vehicle, that space is not available to you and your options are reduced. How do you establish space to both sides of your vehicle? It's actually pretty easy. All it takes is an easy lift off the accelerator pedal to add a car length's worth of space to the side. It's one thing to identify a clear space, but it's another to move into that space safely. Fortunately, there are techniques that help new drivers merge and enter traffic safely. When you decide to enter traffic, begin searching early to find a safe gap between the other vehicles. One with room to accelerate up to a safe and legal speed. The gap should be large enough to give you at least a three second space cushion to the front and the same amount to the rear. Don't rely on other drivers to let you into a gap that isn't large enough. Be absolutely sure that you have a long enough gap in traffic before committing to your merge. Aborting the maneuver during acceleration can be dangerous. When crossing or entering traffic, you need a big enough gap to be able to accelerate from a standing start, which can take several seconds. On city or residential streets, where cars are traveling from 25 to 30 miles per hour, that means about half a block. Out on the highway, this space represents about two blocks. 